This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Chapter 14 uh, has summaries of the important accounting standards. Now, of course, all accounting standards are important. What I mean here uh, is really the accounting standards that seem to recur reasonably often uh, in B7 questions. We don't do any lectures on this. Uh, this is basically assumed knowledge. Because we're saying that you shouldn't be attempting P7 before you do P2. And you might be a little bit rusty on it, uh, but the way to brush up your knowledge is to read summaries, look at former exam questions, and you will see uh, a certain element of repetition and sort of uh, uh, accounting standards that uh, feature there and so on. If needs be, uh, uh, consult your P2 notes and even go back to the original standards. However, it is essential that you know the accounting standards uh, because the accounting standards often define how a calculation is to be carried out. They define the disclosures that have to be made and they define the presentation uh, and if uh, financial statements do not comply with the accounting standards or financial reporting standards, uh, uh, then they will, assuming that non-compliance is material, then the financial statements will not be showing a true and fair view uh, and will be leading to a modified opinion. So, at some point before your exams, brush up on the standards. They are absolutely essential knowledge and they contribute a huge amount uh, towards the number of marks which are available in the auditing paper.